Hello everyone, this is Mansa. Welcome to Impressive Angle. Have you ever wondered how does the snow, sleet, rain, hail, etc. form in the atmosphere? Come on, let's discuss them in detail. Let us start with precipitation. What is precipitation? As water vapor gathers and condenses in the clouds, the drops become too heavy to stay in the air and gravity pulls the water drops down. This process is called precipitation. This precipitation could be of any form. The main forms of precipitation include rain, freezing rain, sleet, hail and snow. First, let us start with rain. High in the sky at the clouds, it's very cold and a lot of times rainfall starts off as snow but then the temperature is so warm down so the snow melts into liquid and we end up getting rain. These raindrops are usually in between 0.5 mm to 6.35 mm in diameter. The only difference between rain and drizzle is the size of the droplets. Drizzle droplets are less than 0.5 mm. Heavy drizzle can seriously reduce the visibility because the droplets are small and close together. The next form of precipitation is freezing rain. As it is warmer down in the atmosphere, the snow completely melts on the way down from the clouds. It then passes through a thin layer of freezing air which is below freezing point near the surface of the earth. This causes the liquid water to freeze on contacting with the surface. This is called as freezing rain. Coming to the next form of precipitation, sleet. If we add a little bit more cold air just above the surface, the snow gets partly melted as it passes through a thin layer of warm air. Once it has melted, it can never become a snowflake again. And now, when it passes through a freezing temperature again, near the ground, through a thick layer of cold air, this water drop freezes into a little ice pallet or sleet. Sleet can also create a slick condition on roadways. Do you know the difference between hail and sleet? Sleet is generally formed during winters whereas hail is formed during summers. These hails are formed during thunderstorms in cumulonimbus clouds which are warmer at the bottom than at the top where the temperature is freezing. Due to the updrafts or winds, the water droplets in the cloud carries back up where the temperature is super cold and then freeze. As ice wants to fall down because of gravity, the updrafts which are so strong that carries the ice back up into the clouds over and over again. This process take, can take place many times before the hail finally falls. In vigorous clouds, the hailstorms may go up and down number of times adding a layer of ice each time. So, the size of the hailstone tells us how strong the winds are and how worst the storm is. So, the next time you see a hailstone, you can identify how severe the thunderstorm is. Now, coming to the end, let us see how snowfall occurs. As we know, snowflakes are already produced up in the clouds and then the atmosphere in the entire column is below freezing point. That means the snow never melts and down here at the surface, we end up with snowfall. These are the main forms of precipitation. Hope from now, whenever you see any of these forms, you will understand the reason behind it. Hope you like my video. If you like it, please like and share it with your friends. For more interesting videos, subscribe to my channel. Thank you.